I'm Christopher Livingston bringing you commentary for tonight's game. The Leopards come into this game following a 27-20 victory at, Occ at Occidental last week. The win was the Leopards' first road win all season and put them at third place in the conference. For Cal Lutheran, it's been opposite. Losing the last three games, including a 33-14 defeat last week to Redlands. Both teams, as the Leopards get ready to take the field, Cal Lutheran has not won against Laverne since 2016. Looking at the standings, Chapman up top, undefeated, 7-0 overall, 5-0 in Skyak. Laverne sitting at third place, 4-4 overall record, 3-2 in Skyak. And as you can see, Cal Lutheran a few spots down with a 3-5 overall record and a 2-3 record. Players to watch, James Gonzalez running back for Laverne. 88 attempts, 424 yards a season. Big part of that rushing attack for Laverne. Moving on, Martavius Holiday, the other member of that double-headed monster running attack. 98 attempts for 432 yards, four touchdowns, averaging 4.4 yards on the ground with, e with each carry. Receiving the ball, you have Jordan Moore, 16 receptions, averaging 2.3 receptions per game, 223 yards, averaging 31.9 yards per game, and one touchdown this season. This time, please stand. Nathaniel Sagastumi, a dangerous slot receiver for the Leopards, averaging 2.1 receptions per game and 32.5 yards per game and four touchdowns on the season. Led by quarterback Sam Taylor, he comes into this game, 51 completions off 118 attempts, seven interceptions, and seven touchdown passes. Robert Franklin Jr. leads this defense with 55 tackles and two interceptions. He'll have to be the big guy out there as this team will be at without Preston Carr, who has 73 tackles. Moving on to Cal Lutheran, Jackson Taylor at running back, 403 yards a season, 5.2 yards per carry, five touchdowns. Morris Jackson at running back, 164 yards on 3.5 yards per carry. So we'll turn it to the field for the colors. Please continue, Please continue standing, standing for the, for national, the national anthem, anthem sung by Laverne freshman Megan Ehrenberg. Megan was, award winners, was awarded Laverne's Performance Scholarship in Music and is a member of the Laverne Chamber Singers. Take it away, Megan. Oh,
of applause for Megan and for the BFW 12034 Band of Brothers. Serving and As you see, Laverne, all the members of the Laverne football Canada. team raising their helmets in respect for the national anthem. It's for our veterans. As it is two days before Veterans Day, which is on Monday. Great way to celebrate and honor those who have served this country. Earlier, Marine Corps veteran and student Mark Soto led the team out of the tunnel. Special moment there. The VFW, the local VFW post from Laverne. Running the color guard for tonight's game. It's today, as honorary captain today, is today as I Marine mentioned, Corps we honor uh, our Colonel veterans John in this game. A. Durant. Colonel, Colonel Durant. John A. Durant from the United States Marine Corps will be serving as the honorary captain today for the coin toss. Duty. Colonel and Durant served in Vietnam as part of his 32 career. Colonel Durant worked at every base on the West Coast during his I career. had the opportunity of talking to this man yesterday during a Marine Corps birthday celebration here at the University of Laverne. Colonel Durant was awarded and as myself, being a former veteran, military award of the United Marine Corps States vet, Corps eight and a half years, it's truly a special moment to be part of all this. As I see Colonel Durant, Colonel Durant dressed in his dress High blue School. uniform, prepares to walk down the 50-yard line to midfield to meet with the referees and the captains from both Colonel squads. Durant has been married to wife Shirley for 46 wonderful years. He has two sons, Mike and Matt, and is escorted by his Being escorted by his two grand Lance grandkids. Durant. Colonel Durant. And you see James Gonzalez as well as Connor Johnson flanking the retired Colonel. Both sides shake hands, prepare for the coin toss. Official shows the coin to both both sides. Colonel Durant flips it. Kel Lutheran has won the toss. They will defer. So Cal Lutheran has won the coin toss, and they will defer to the second half, which means we will see the Laverne offense take the field to start tonight's matchup. So Laverne offense comes into this game averaging 313 yards per game, which is last in Skyac, 132.5 passing yards per game, which is also last in Skyac. But they also bring that rushing attack, 180.5 rush yards per game, fourth in Skyac. They're going to have their hands full going up against this defense from Cal Lutheran, which allows 363 yards per game. That's fifth in Skyac. They have 18 sacks, fourth in Skyac. Six interceptions, fifth in Skyac, and four fumbles. It'll be a tough matchup for this Laverne offense to try and score on this Cal Lutheran defense. Now, last week against Occidental, we actually saw a different look from this offense as the Laverne Leopards passed more. That's right, I said passed more than what they traditionally do, which is running the ball. So you have Martavius Holiday. Off, and Nick Kimball waiting out near the end the zone ball. for the kickoff. Kicking the ball for 
Cal Lutheran is Christian Atizana, the senior kicker. Lines up, signals the officials. And here we go. Kicks the ball high into the end zone. Holiday is going to grab it and take a knee in the end zone. And so this Laverne offense will take over starting at the 20-yard line. Now Coach Creek of the Laverne Leopards likes to utilize two different quarterbacks. He's used Matthew Albright and Sam Taylor throughout the season. We'll see who he brings out at quarterback to start things out. And it looks like it'll be number 15, Sam Taylor, who had himself quite a game last week throwing for three touchdowns against Occidental. And here we go. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Grayson Klein in motion to the right. The handoff to Gonzalez, no. Sam Taylor holds on to it, gets past the 50, the 40. Pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Great run by Sam Taylor. Sam Taylor on the keeper. Faked the handoff on a little read option play. Was able to hold on to it and swing to his left. And it just became a run to the races before getting knocked out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. We'll see where they spot the ball. The 33-yard line. So great start for this Laverne offense. Get things going on the first play of the game. First and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. Laverne lining up three wide receivers to the right, one to the left, one running back. James Gonzalez with Sam Taylor in the shotgun. Taylor takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, throws it, batted down, incomplete. That's intended. Up by Knocked John down Moore. by John Moore, the freshman cornerback. Great job jumping in front of the ball and swatting out of the way. So Laverne, after a big running play, attempted a pass there, unsuccessful. Second and 10, ball in the 34. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Taylor takes a snap, the handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez loses the ball, picks it back up but before rolling out of bounds at the 39-yard line, so a Gonzalez loss ball carrier. of a few yards there. Big break there by Gonzalez to not turn the ball over. Gonzalez had a couple turnovers already this season. So it'll be third down and long. Three receivers right, one to the left. Taylor in the shotgun with James Gonzalez. Does a hard count, looks towards the sidelines. Sagastumi in motion. The handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez wrapped up immediately and brought down at the 35 Inside yard line. It'll be fourth down. So a promising drive halted by the Cal Lutheran defense. Looks like they're still out on the field. Ethan Pulley. Fourth and 11. Tackle. Coach Creek wants to put some points on the board here on this drive. Let's see what the Laverne offense can do against Cal Lutheran. 13 minutes left to go in the opening quarter. Two receivers left, two to the right. Grayson Klein in motion to the right. Taylor takes a snap, looks to his right, throws it to the right. Up, intercepted. Brought back to the 40, to the 50. And that looks like it's going to go to the house. No, dropped. Just short, but what a pick and run. Brandon Monroe, the junior linebacker, jumped in front of the ball and picked it off. It was a fourth down play, so pretty much like the equivalent of a punt and return on a very nice return. So now Cal Lutheran, who had decent field position, it's going to be brought back after an illegal block in the back. So now the Cal Lutheran offense will come out and take the field. Led by quarterback Caesar 
De Leon. De Leon leads Skyak with 291 yards in the air. 19 passing touchdowns. Both are first in the conference. So after a very nice return, Cal Lutheran is now back at their own 25. First and 10, two receivers to the right, one to the left. De Leon with the handoff. His running back moves up, plows through some defenders. Hard to take, hard to tackle, and brought down at the 35-yard line. That was Jackson Taylor at running back. It was a great, powerful run to the right. And the Laverne defense struggled to bring him down. A great piece of running by Jackson. First and 10, ball on the 35 now. Two receivers right, one to the left. Man in motion to the left. De Leon takes a snap. Ducks it in, rolls to his right, throws it to the sideline. Looks like it dropped, incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Intended for James Holland, the junior wide receiver. Second and 10. He was covered closely by Torrey Hilbert. It'll be second and 10. Ball in the 34. Two receivers left, one to the right. De Leon takes a snap. The handoff to Jackson. Jackson running to his left. Gets past the 40 for being brought down at about the 44-yard line. That was Morris Jackson on the carry. 11.35 left to go in the opening quarter. This will be third down for Cal Lutheran. Third and two, ball on the 44. Two receivers left, two to the right. One running back. De Leon takes a snap, looks to his right. Under pressure, running to his left, moves up the field. Slides, but he gets the first down, it looks like. That's some of the issues that this Laverne defense has faced throughout the season, is struggling to take down rushing quarterbacks. Great job by De Leon holding on to the ball. Once he felt pressure, he saw his opening and took it. And rather than giving himself up, just slid for the first down. Be first and 10, ball in the 46. Receiver in motion, the handoff. Running past midfield and tackled is Cameron Jones, the freshman wide receiver. Kerry Sanders on the tackle. See how they spot this. It'll be second down, second and one. The ball on the 45 yard line. 10 10 left to go in the opening quarter. Line up two receivers to the left, one to the right, one running back. De Leon takes a snap. The handoff to Morris Jackson, who gets hit immediately as he passes the 45 yard line, brought down at about the 44. Derek Shea on the tackle. The Laverne defense playing without their top tackler, Preston Carr, who was taken out a few weeks ago. But Laverne definitely delivered last week against Occidental, allowing the fewest amount of yards that they've done all season. Third and one. High snap. De Leon in trouble and brought down. Derek Guzman with the sack. That'll be the eighth total sack for this Laverne defense all season long. They are sixth in Skyak in that category. And great job by the Laverne defense stopping Cal Lutheran as now they'll bring out the punting unit. Antizana will punt it. Jacob Bariga 
will fair catch it at about the 11-yard line. And that's where the officials will spot the ball to begin the second drive for the Leopards. Beautiful evening here at Ortmeyer Stadium. Slight breeze, sun setting over the hills. As Sam Taylor and company retakes the field. It's currently 86 degrees here in Laverne. First and 10, ball on the 13-yard line. Receiver in motion. The handoff to Holiday. Holiday breaks a tackle before getting wrapped up and brought down for a short game. Connor McDermott with the tackle. It'll be second and eight with the ball on the 15 yard line. Taylor takes the snap, throws it to his left. Hit hard as Martavius Holiday, and that's a flag. That was an obvious pass interference right there. Holiday rolling out the backfield before getting hit before the ball even got there by Ethan Pulley. So tough break there for Cal Lutheran, but that you can't make that any more obvious. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. So an automatic first down there for Laverne after the pass interference. It'll be first and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Taylor takes a snap, fakes a handoff, and he's going to run up the middle before getting plowed by number 41, Connor McDermott. Sam Taylor already with about 45 yards on the ground. Taylor takes a snap, rolls to his right, throws it, caught. We're getting wrapped up and brought down past the 30 is Nathaniel Sagastumi. Laverne has been using a lot of passing plays for the last two weeks, which has been a little different considering that they are a run-dominant team. It's been nice to see them open up the passing game. will be third and one as they make a platoon swap on the field. Seven minutes left to go in the opening quarter. They bring everyone in. The handoff to Gonzalez, and Gonzalez able to plow through the line and get the first down. Perhaps the personnel swap Threw off the Cal Lutheran defense just a bit and just enough for them, for the Leopards, to make that play a success. First and 10, ball in the 37. Taylor takes a snap, throws it up the middle of the field. Oh, incomplete. Out of reach. Spencer Poole. It couldn't have been any more simple. Looked like Poole had the opportunity to make the grab, but he possibly had his eyes already upfield. As if he would have caught that, it would have been hard to bring him down. This will be second and 10 with the ball on the 37 yard line. Taylor takes a snap. Throws it to Martavius Holiday. Flag on the field. Holiday gets past the 40 to the 45. Tackle made by number 13, Ethan Pooley. We'll see what the verdict is for the flag. Offside. Defense. Five yard penalty. Second down. This will be an offside on number seven, William Kelly. For Cal Lutheran, so Laverne gets another big break off of another Cal Lutheran penalty. Correction, the penalty is behind. Third down. 
This will be third down and short for Laverne. One wide receiver to the left, two, three to the right. Taylor takes a snap, rolls to his right. Throws it high, caught. And brought down is Grayson Klein. And Klein kind of rolling around. He looks like he might be hurt. Grayson Klein jumped up there, had the elevation to make the grab. He's a great receiver. But when you're in that, when you're in the air as a receiver and you get hit, you're defenseless. So a possibly a shot to the ribs or to the back for Grayson Klein. As players gather around, the medical staff gathers around Klein. See beautiful evening here at Ortmeyer Stadium as the sun sets over the hills. It's about 86 degrees here. Not a cloud over us. A few clouds out in the distance. Beautiful view. As Grayson Klein slowly limps off the field with help. I hope he's all right. I hope we get to see him back on the field. So now it'll be first and 10 with the ball on the 48-yard line with 6-10 left to go in the opening quarter. Taylor... Taylor takes a snap, the handoff to Holiday. Running up the middle and surrounded by a number of white jer jerseys. A short gain there. Gain of about two on that run. It'll be second and eight. Two receivers to the left. Taylor takes a snap, a handoff to Holiday. No, Taylor will hold on to it, rolling to his right, wrapped up and brought down. Looked like Kayshawn Charles, the strong safety with the tackle. So a third and eight coming up. Taylor lets the team know what the play is. They line up, two receivers left. Two to the right, Martavius Holiday next to Taylor. Taylor takes a snap, drops back, throws it up the middle. Incomplete intended for Martavius Holiday. With the ball off target. And it'll be a fourth down, and here comes the punting unit. So Arturo Herrera will punt it off. James Holland, James Holland waits at his own eight yard line for the punt. Holland makes the grab. We're getting hit hard and brought down at the 19 yard line. This will be first and 10 for Cal Lutheran as the offense, led by Cesar De Leon, retakes the field. On the previous drive, De Leon, who leads Skyak in passing yards and passing touchdowns, was 0 for 1 on his lone pass attempt, relying a lot on Morris Jackson. This will be first and 10, ball in the 13. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. De Leon takes a snap, rolls to his left. Decides to tuck it in and run. For running out of bounds at about the 18 yard line. He had no one open, so great job by the Laverne secondary. And De Leon forced to tuck it in and run before getting out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. So it'll be second and six. 
Three wide receivers to the right, one to the left. One running back. DeLeon with the snap. Throws it. Caught by his receiver. Past the 25, past the 30, and knocked down. Jawan Thomas. One of DeLeon's favorite targets. Thomas with 83.4 reception yards per game. That's fourth in Skyak. And seven receiving touchdowns, which is also second in the conference. It'll be first and 10, ball to 32. DeLeon up the middle, caught by Thomas again. Thomas gets past midfield and brought down at the 47-yard line. Great pass by DeLeon, able to find his favorite receiver in open field. DeLeon is such a strong, big-bodied receiver, hard to bring down. 3.20 left to go in the first quarter. First and 10, ball in the 49. DeLeon with the snap, the handoff to Morris. Jackson, Jackson cuts to his right, brought down at about the 41-yard line. Nice run by Jackson, cutting to the right. Dodged a tackler for being brought down. It'll be second and four. The ball on the 43-yard line. First, second and four. 2.38 left to go. De Leon hands it off to Morris Jackson. Jackson cuts inside, breaks a tackle. Wrapped up and brought down at the 35. Preston Carr making the tackle. Tackle was made by Tyler Fields. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. First and 10. Dealing with the handoff. To the fullback, a little trickery there. As it looked like the fullback got the ball, was able to sneak out of the backfield. That was Guzman with the carry. And a big run for Cal Lutheran to put them within striking zone. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, late hit, number six, defense, half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. A late hit called on the junior cornerback, Tory Hilbert. A late hit on Huzman. On Huzman. This will be first and goal with the ball on the four yard line. Line up three receivers to the left. De Leon in the shotgun. Motions a man to the right. The handoff to Huzman again. Huzman trying to plow through and brought down. Not, doesn't get into the end zone. He's wrapped up by a number of green jerseys. I'll bring up second down and goal the ball on the two-yard line with a minute 10 left to go in the opening quarter. Two receivers to the left. The handoff to Huzman again. Huzman tried to shuffle to the right and brought down. And it looks like it'll be in the, looks like he found the end zone and it'll be a touchdown for Cal Lutheran. Great patience by Huzman. He just tried to find the slightest opening in the line. And he put his head down and drove through. Antezana lines up for the extra point. There's the snap, the hold. 
The kick right down the middle. So with a minute left to go in the first quarter, the score is Cal Lutheran 7, Laverne nothing. You're watching Skyac Football on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television. There's a little bit of a head-to-head -head battle there for a bit in this opening quarter. Both teams unable to really find the end zone until a huge run by Hoosman set them up in perfect range, and Hoosman took, took care of the rest. Martavius Holiday and Nick Kimball waiting deep in their own territory for the kickoff. Zantizana boots it high. Kimball will field it. Gets past the 20 and wrapped up. Number of white jerseys there. So here comes the Laverne offense. Can they respond? They've had some great plays going throughout the quarter, but they've just been stopped by this Cal Lutheran defense. Will be first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line for Sam Taylor. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Taylor with the snap. The handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez runs to his left, wrapped up and brought down for a short gain. Connor McDermott on the tackle. Just we'll bring up second and seven. Time continues to tick. 30 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Three receivers to the right. The handoff. No. Taylor holds on to it for being wrapped up and dropped by number 97, Maxwell Nazarco. Great job by Nazarco reading. Taylor trying to run and brought him down for no gain. The Leopards watch the play clock and time expire. And we have come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Cal Lutheran 7, Laverne Leppin 0. You're watching Skyac Football on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television. We are, honored, we are honored to serve those who have served and those who are currently serving. The city of Laverne, BFW 12. Is the first step to protecting their dreams. When you keep them safe, there's no limit to how far they can go. Nothing is out of reach. No mission. Impossible. Give your son or daughter a better chance to see their dreams come true. Give them the HPV vaccine at age 11 or 12 to prevent HPV cancers and life. Start of the second quarter. Start of the second quarter. Laverne down 7 0 to Cal Lutheran. It'll be third and seven on the ensuing play. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Taylor with the snap. Throws it to the left. Intercepted again. Another mistake and costly interception by the Laverne offense. Obasi Dees with the interception. And as, he, as Sam Taylor tried to force it to Nathan Sagastumi. So now Cal Lutheran will come onto the field with great field position on the Laverne 40 yard line.
Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Two running backs for De Leon. De Leon with the snap, under pressure, escapes it. Throws it, caught at the 21, brought down at the 20. The pass to Brendan Hall. Great job by De Leon escaping pressure. It looked like a number of Laverne Leopards swarmed around him, but he was able to step up in the pocket, dodge them, move up. Great awareness. As you see, he looks, he looks around, escapes the pressure, moves up. Plenty of time, and great job finding Brendan Hall in the open field. The handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson runs to his left before being hammered. My number 21, Robert Franklin. It'll bring up second down for Cal Lutheran. One wide receiver to the left, two to the right. De Leon under, in the shotgun. Great blocking. De Leon rolls to his right, throws it into the end zone. Intercepted. Great read and pick by Raymond Morones. Raymond Morones with the interception. This game continues to go back and forth. De Leon took the snap, faked the handoff. Plenty of time in the pocket, but was rushed and threw it. And just a great read by Morones as he just came running out of nowhere to pick it off. That pick is the 12th for the Leopards all season. They are currently ranked third in Skyak in that category. 13-28 left to go in the half. First and 10 for Laverne on the one yard line. Dangerous territory. Taylor with the snap, the handoff to Holiday. Holiday dropped his head, kept going, and he can't go down. He Holiday won't go down. Carrier. Finally gets brought down at the 10. Zion Brown. Zion Brown, Brown on the tackle. Great run by Martavius Holiday. Eight of nine on the play. Such a dynamic player when he gets the ball. Second and one, the handoff to Holiday again. Holiday at the line, stopped and brought down. For little to no yards on that play. It'll be third and one. The ball on the 10 here. yard line for Laverne. Twelve twenty-five left to go in the first quarter. They stack the line. Taylor with the handoff. Breaking free is James Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets past the 15 to the 20. Great run, great play design by the Leopards. And Gonzalez great job by, by James Gonzalez spinning out of out of harm's way or being wrapped up and brought down for the necessary yardage for the first Kerner down. Mark. Making the tackle. First and ten wheels. Kerner Mark on the tackle. Lining up, stacking it up again. The handoff to Gonzalez again. Gonzalez once again. Another big ten yard rush gets the first down, the chains move again. Cal Lutheran having trouble on back-to-back -back plays, seeing that same, seeing the same formation on a couple of occasions. They line up again, bringing everyone. The handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez plowing through. This time, stopped for a short game. Three 
Taylor ran to the sideline, got the play, runs back onto the field. Line up in the same formation. Taylor in the center, the handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez wrapped up and stopped immediately for another little to no gain on that play. The player loses his helmet. Looks like to be second in and seven with the ball on the 33 yard line for the Leopards. They line up again, the same formation. This time they're going to bootleg it. Taylor under pressure, just has to throw it away. Almost intercepted. So Bossy Dees made the grab, but he was out of bounds. The Leopards ran several running plays out of that same package. You knew a passing play had to come out eventually. Ineligible receiver downfield for 76 offense. The penalty is declined, fourth down. down. As Tyler Baeza, the right guard for Laverne, called for being ineligible downfield. So it started promising for the Leopards, starting at their own one yard line, but they have not been able to advance the ball past midfield. It'll be fourth down. Arturo Herrera Caballero gets ready to punt it off to James Holland. Holland makes the grab at the 25, rolls to his right for being wrapped up and brought down by Torrey Hilbert. Now we'll see the Cal Lutheran offense on the field once again. Cal Lutheran with 131 total yards so far in this game. 77 on the ground, 54 in the air. They've converted seven first downs, one of two on third down. They have not seen a fourth down play yet. So first and 10, ball on the 26 yard line. Line up two receivers to the left, one to the right. The handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson breaks a tackle, puts his head down, keeps moving before being brought down for a short gain. Looked like Cameron Mooneyhan on the tackle. Cameron Mooneyhan making the stop. Gain of about five on the play. Ball on the 31. First and 10, ball on the 31 yard line. One receiver to the left, two to the right for Cal Lutheran. Morris Jackson behind De Leon. De Leon with the handoff to Jackson. Jackson wrapped up immediately. Great job by the Laverne defensive line to clog up the hole immediately and bring Morris Jackson down. Mikey Bloomfield on the tackle. He hit 9-10 left to go in the first half. Cal Lutheran up 7-0 here at Ormeyer Stadium. Third and three. Guzman to the left of DeLeon. DeLeon with the snap, throws it to the left. Caught! And brought down past the 40-yard line is who else but Jawan Thomas. Jawan Thomas. De Leon took the snap, patience, throws it. But what a grab, what a throw and what a grab by Thomas. The ball just fit right into the pocket. Three receivers to the right, one to the left, first and 10. De Leon fakes the handoff, throws it to the right this time. Out of reach for his intended receiver, Cameron Jones. 
Then for Cameron Jones. It'll be second down. Ball on the 37 yard line. Eight eighteen left to go in the half. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. De Leon with the snap, the handoff to Hoosman. Hoosman plows through before being wrapped up and brought down for a short gain. It'll be third down. Hoosman with already over 33 yards rushing on four carries. Third and five. De Leon under pressure. Steps up, rolls to his right, decides to tuck it in and run, gets past the 25, dives for the first down. And brought down at the 23-yard line. Leopard's defense unable to bring down the quarterback. Great job by De Leon once again, able to find an open lane to run. Personal foul, clipping, number De Leon. 75, offense. 50 Tucks yards and runs. Third down. Able to break a tackle and finally just dives and drops after being tackled by number 20. Cameron Mooniam. There was a clipping penalty called on Cal Lutheran, so that brings them back. So everything De Leon just did was for naught. And a big break for this Laverne defense. It'll be third and very long. They spot the ball at the 47 yard line. They stack three receivers to the right. De Leon rolls to his right looking for those receivers. Throws it to the right. Caught and pushed out of bounds is number three, Brendan Hall. But it was a third and 25, and it's still short of the first down, just barely. The officials spot the ball at the 29-yard line. Cal Lutheran needs to get to about the 27-yard line. Fourth and two. And a timeout will be called on the field. Laverne. By Laverne, their first, their first time charge out timeout of the half. Cal Lutheran has already driven down the field for 191 yards so far in this first half. Going up against the Laverne defense that has allowed 458 yards per game on defense. You see the, the crowd out in the field, out in the stands. A lot of veterans out there today as tonight is the university's celebration of veterans at this game. When play, in, when play resumes, see uh, the student section. There's one gentleman that looks like he's just not having it right now. That was Mr. Jimmy Pascal, former volleyball coach and former athletic director for Laverne. So he's not happy with what he's seeing on the field, apparently. As De Leon takes the snap, decides to run up the field, fumble, and recovered by Laverne. Well, that play may put a smile on Mr. Pascal's face. As De Leon dropped the ball and jumping on it 
There's a number of green jerseys. And the La Laverne defense able to capitalize again. De Leon moves upfield and just loses it as he dives forward. And Mikey Bloomfield first to jump on it. So Laverne gets a big break on that fourth down play. It'll be first and 10 for Laverne. Ball on the 24 yard line. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Fakes the handoff to Holiday. Running to his right is Taylor. Taylor gets past the 25 and pushed out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. It'll be second down. You see Taylor faking the handoff to Martavius Holiday and could not find anyone downfield, so he decides to do what he can do very well, just tuck it and run. Second and five now, ball on the 29 yard line for Laverne. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Handoff to Holiday. Holiday wrapped up immediately and brought down. Tackle made by Connor McDermott. It'll bring up a third down situation for Laverne. The Leopards already three of seven on third down. And 0 for 1 on fourth down attempts. Five forty left to go. One wide receiver to the right, three to the left. Hand off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez runs to his left. Breaks a tackle, but dragged down. William Kelly making the tackle. Kelly on the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Here comes the punting unit for Laverne. Fourth down. Leopard's offense has struggled to really get any momentum going. They've been stopped. They've had some bad breaks. As Holland waits for the punt. Catches it at about the 30. Rollins to his right. He has a lot of open field. Past midfield and brought down just short of the 40-yard line at about the 42-yard line. Great return by James Holland. Cameron Jones on the return. First in town, the ball on the 43 yard line for Cal Lutheran. See, he runs to the right, and just great blocking and great use of that speed. That was Cameron Jones on the return. DeLeon with the snap, throws the screen pass, stiff arm. Past the 30, Jukes past the 25, past the 20. Hard to push, hard to get brought out. Tackled out of bounds. The entire Cal Lutheran sideline calling for a flag. But a great catch and run by Juwan Thomas. Thomas had a big stiff arm at about the 40 and just couldn't be denied. He makes the grab, stiff arms, and just keeps moving. As a running, as a short run for Cal Lutheran. He'll bring up second down for the Kingsmen. Jackson the ball carrier. Morris Jackson on the carry. Taking the stop. Second and six. Be second and six. Ball in the 15. 340 left to go in the first half. Cal Lutheran up 7-0. Three receivers to the left. The handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson to the right. Pushed out of bounds. Morris Jackson. For another short gain. 
but it looks like he got enough for the first down. First down. So it'll be first and goal now for the Kingsmen. Ball the, a ball on the eight yard line. First and goal for the Kingsmen. Last time the Kingsmen drove this far downfield, they were denied by a Raymond Morona's interception. Can the Leopards do it again? This time a pitch to Morris Jackson. Jackson wrapped up. A hard hit. Cameron Jones. That was Cameron Jones on the carry. Took the pitch. Isaac Sanchez. The pitch to Cameron Jones. Jones running to the right, tripped up, and just gets plowed short of the pylon. And it looks like we have a new quarterback out there for Cal Lutheran. Number 15, Hector Gonzalez. And a flag on the field. Ball start, start. Number, three. number three, offense. offense. Five yard five penalty, penalty. Second, down. second down. So a five yard penalty there on Cal Lutheran to bring them back. Not sure what happened to De Leon. I see him on the sideline. Looks to be limping just a bit. He's got his helmet off. Second goal for 10. The Vern defense has been notorious for taking players out in games. Not intentionally, obviously, but it'll be second and 10. Ball on the 10 yard line. Gonzalez throws it high to the left. Tip drill and knocked down by Torrey Hilbert. Looked for Jawan Thompson. Tori Hilbert. Tori Hilbert is not afraid to face bigger receivers. He accepts the challenge and he takes it head on. And as you see, he did a marvelous job holding Jawan Thomas and able to batting and able to bat the ball down. Third and goal, ball in the 10. Gonzalez with the snap, looks to the left. Tucks it in, decides to run up the middle. Wrapped up, but it looks like he broke the plane. We'll see what the, what the call is. It looks like it's a touchdown. Haven't seen an official signal yet. Looks like he was stopped short. But I guess it was a touchdown. So Hector Gonzalez able to come in for De Leon and able to lead the Kingsmen into the end zone. As Antizana gets ready and lines up for the extra point. There's a snap and hold. Blocked! Picked up. And he's off to the races. Past midfield. Past the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. And it is a score for Laverne. Raymond Morones again able to pick up the block and take it to the house to give the Leopards two points. Great block. And then Morones, great job picking up the ball and just using that speed of his to outrace everyone and get into the end zone. Special team units retake the field. A minute 45 left to go in the half. Kingsman up 13 to two over the Leopards. 
Cal Lutheran trying to end Laverne's winning streak against them. Cal Lutheran has not won against Laverne since 2016. Nick Kimball and Martavius Holiday wait deep in the end zone for the kickoff. Antizana kicks it high. And Kimball waves it off in the end zone. And Laverne will start at the 25 yard line. Can the Leopards capitalize off of that big field goal block? And can they drive down the field 75 yards for a score in a minute 45? We're about to find out. Sam Taylor and the offense take the field. Line up two receivers to the right, two to the left, one running back. The handoff to Holiday. Holiday runs up the field, brought down. Ball carrier. That was Gonzalez on the carry, correction. And a timeout call. Four on the play. Timeout. Cal, Cal Lutheran. Cal Lutheran will first take their first timeout. Time out. Half. Clock operator, you can reset the game clock to 140. 140. Thank you. Just a reminder if you don't need reservations at Corny's Corner. It'll be a minute 40 when play resumes. It'll be second down for the Leopards. A lot of fans in the stands watching tonight's matchup. Occidental and Pomona Pitzer, they're playing for the drum in Whittier and Redland. All you will be Pep Band here in Enforce. Good to see them in the stands. Well, here we go. Second and six. Taylor with the snap, handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez hit immediately as he tries to pass the line of scrimmage. For no gain on the play. Big stop by the Cal Lutheran defense. Tackle looks like it was made by Connor McDermott. Cal Lutheran. Cal Lutheran charge timeout taking the second half. charge timeout. Clock operator. Seems as if Cal Lutheran is confident that they can stop one, Laverne from three, getting a first down. Six. And they will continue one, to three, make timeouts. Thank you. As long as they can hold Laverne within these 10 yards. In hopes that they can re regain possession of the ball to try and add some points of their own before halftime. in the student section. Back on the field, Taylor with the snap, rolls to his left, throws it high. Incomplete. Intended for James Gonzalez. But Cal Lutheran, that secondary able to hold everyone in place. Connor McDermott breaking the play up. So just like that, those timeouts proved to be effective for Cal Lutheran. As Arturo Herrera Caballero is going to have to punt it with a minute 29 left in the half. And the Cal Lutheran offense will regain possession. The punt to Holland. Holland gets it at the 35, cuts to his right. That's Cameron Jones. Jones knocked out of bounds with a minute 18 left to go in the half. This is the early game as far as Skyhack games go. 
At 7 p.m., we have three matchups kicking off. CMS on the road against Chapman, Occidental on the road against Pomona Pitzer, and Whittier takes on Redlands. I'll update you with those scores once those games begin. First and 10, ball in the 40. Two receivers left, two to the right. Gonzalez with the handoff to Morris Jackson, who gets past midfield and brought down at about the 47-yard line. Jackson already over 60 yards on the ground off of 11 carries. A minute left. Gonzalez takes a snap, throws it to the left, intercepted. Mason Montanez with the pick. Gonzalez tried to find Jawan Thomas. But look at Montanez reading the play, reading the quarterback's eyes, and rolling to his right. And he was the one to beat everyone to that ball. So now Laverne gets some redemption here. They regain the ball. Both teams now with two turnovers each. Can Laverne put some more points on the board? First and 10, ball in the 29. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. 53 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The handoff to Holiday. Holiday running to his left, cuts inside, gets past the 35, brought down at about the 36, the 37, and there's a flag on the play. And there's a lot of extracurricular activities going down there on the field. A lot of pushing and shoving and flags flying all over the place. A lot of laundry on the field. I don't know if the referees have any more flags. It looks like they've thrown them all. Someone's going to have to uh, throw a flag on the officials for littering. They're holding that conference at the 30-yard line to see who gets what penalties. See, it's just a big scrum going on. A lot of big bodies pushing each other around. As the great Jim Ross would say, look at all the carnage. Both these teams battling hard. Trying to get a victory. Still waiting on the verdict from the officials. Another angle of the scrum. Players pushing and shoving. A couple players taking shots at each other. See what happens. There are multiple fouls on the play. All dead ball fouls. All on sports line conduct. On Laverne, number 67. On Cal Lou, number 54, number 99, and number 5. For throwing a punch, number 5 is disqualified for the remainder of the game. The other players each have one unsportsmanlike conduct foul for this game. So Caleb Casimir ejected from the game for throwing a punch. You see, he is not happy. Number of Kingsmen penalized. A lot of tension in this game. See Casimir escorted off the field. 
Joseph Whitmer for the Leopards was called with the unsportsmanlike conduct. This will be first and 10, ball in the 29. 30 seconds left to go in the half. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Taylor throws it to Nate Sagastumi, who runs out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. Taylor, great job rolling to his right, able to find Nate Sagastumi. He's such a quick receiver, so hard to keep track of due to his size. But when he gets the ball, he is dangerous. So it'll be first and 10, ball to 45 yard line with 20 seconds left to go in the half. Laverne still has two timeouts. Taylor with the snap. Throws it, intercepted. And that is Cal Lutheran's response. John Moore with the interception. Now, I really question this throw. Taylor looking in that direction the whole time, intended for Jordan Moore, but Moore wasn't even looking in his direction. He was, too, he was locked in. And as a result, that's an interception with 13 seconds left. Taylor's third interception on the night. Gonzalez with the snap, rolls to his right, throws it, caught, and out of bounds is number four, James Holland. Six seconds left in the half. James Holland making the reception. Calhoun first down. Laverne showing showed promise on that previous drive, but once again, a turnover has ended it. And Cal Lutheran trying to get in scoring range. Ball on the 40. Gonzalez takes a snap. Tucks it in. He's going to throw this into the end zone. Incomplete. And that'll do this is it the end of the first half. for the first half. Cal Lutheran up 13-2 over the Leopards. You're watching Skyac football on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television. So tough game, a lot of tension on the field between both teams as Christopher Livingston giving you, bringing you tonight's commentary. Looking at some of the first half stats, Cal Lutheran has been running away with it throughout. They've controlled the tempo of this game. 268 total yards on offense, 130 on the ground, and 138 in the air. Cesar De Leon came in starting out for Cal Lutheran. He went 6-9 for 126 yards and one interception. And for some reason, I'd assume that De Leon's hurt because I have not seen him in the second quarter. And Hector Gonzalez came in, took over. He went, he's gone one for four with an interception. On the ground for Cal Lutheran, Morris Jackson, 11 attempts for 66 yards. Reed Hoosman, four attempts for 36 yards and a touchdown. Hector Gonzalez, one for 10 with a, with a touchdown. On the other side of the ball, Laverne, 136 total yards of offense, 104 on the ground, 32 in the air. Sam Taylor has gone 4-12 for 32 yards and three interceptions. The mission of the center is to enhance the veteran students. Sam Taylor has rushed for, five, for 47 yards on five carries. And then James Gonzalez, 37 yards on 11 carries. And Martavius Holiday, 20 yards on six carries. We'll send it down onto the field. As Diana Tolles, coordinator for the Laverne Lee Veterans Provo, Success Center, who will recognize this we recognize honoree. it's a privilege to be part of the university's Playing for Heroes Activities. 
honoring those who have served. Laverne currently has over 600 students who are active duty, veterans, or otherwise connected to the military across 11 campuses, which includes Point Magoo Naval Station and Vandenberg Air Force Base. The University of Laverne is proud to have been designated a military-friendly school for the 10th consecutive year. Today, we recognize a special veteran and University of Laverne alum who graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Sociology and who is currently earning his Master's in Educational Counseling. Lorenzo Harmon, the son of a Navy veteran from Memphis, Tennessee, enlisted in 1984 and served for 21 years in the U.S. Marine Corps, retiring as a gunnery sergeant in 2006. Nicknamed Gunny, he began his service as an engineer equipment mechanic and was promoted to equipment chief and then served as a career recruiter, mentoring more than 200 young men and women before, during, and after their military careers. Sergeant Harmon was awarded four Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medals, three Navy Unit Commendation Medals, three mer Meritorious Unit Commendations, and seven Good Conduct Medals. The father of three children and grandfather of five children, Lorenzo Hartman has been recognized by the San Gabriel Valley community for his outstanding service to veterans and has been honored by, the Los, by Los Angeles County, San Bernardino County, Riverside County, and California state officials for his community service. And at one point, he received a personal visit from Governor Jerry Brown, who recognized his contributions to the Veterans Resource Center at Mount San Antonio College. Lorenzo's goal is to complete his graduate degree in counseling so that he can better serve and support veterans and their dependents transitioning from the military to colleges and universities into civilian life. Lorenzo Harmon, on behalf of the University of Laverne, Leopard Athletics, and all fans here, thank you for your sacrifice and service to our country and for your continued passion to support veterans. Please join me in thanking Gunny. Thank you so much, Provost Reed. And thank you too to the football team coaches, staff and students for supporting veterans. We love your red, white and blue Laverne helmet logos. And now to honor our veterans, we will play the military service medley. We invite you and active duty service members, members of the reserve and ROTC to stand when your branches hymn is played. Air Force Navy.
Happy birthday, Marines, 244 years. Army. Thank you so much. If we have any members who have served in the National Guard, I just wanted to recognize you also. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for coming. Such an awesome moment getting to recognize the veterans from each branch. You saw the camera even focused on me. I'm a Marine Corps veteran of eight and a half years. Proud to have served and proud to be associated with the veterans of this school. Laverne Cheer team comes out onto the field. in Afghanistan. Our brave warriors are coming home, wounded. Some with wounds you can see, some with wounds you can't see. Wounded Warrior Project was created to support our men and women coming off the battlefield. Please help carry these warriors the rest of the way home. Get involved at WoundedWarriorProject.org. Did you know breast cancer kills more than 41,000 people every year in the U.S.? That's 113 people every day. That's unacceptable. African American women die from breast cancer, nearly 41% more than Caucasian women. That's unacceptable. Nearly 250,000 men and women in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. 
That's unacceptable. Breast cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women. Breast cancer is unacceptable. 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 Help us save lives. Together with Susan G. Komen, we're committed to reducing U.S. breast cancer deaths by half. And we're going to do it by 2026. Support Susan G. Komen. Join our fight. Save lives. Visit Komen.org slash unacceptable. Failure is unacceptable. This is my house. My parents helped build it. Now we don't get wet when it rains. I don't get too hot or too cold inside. And I don't have to worry when the winds blow. This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. My house. My house. I can play with my sister. I can play with my brother. I can play with my mother, my father, my family. My family. My family. This is my house. This is my house. I can study. I can be safe with my family. This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. My house. My house. This is my house. Visit Habitat.org to find out how you can help more families like mine have a safe, decent place to call home. Dora knows better than anyone. The best place to explore is the forest. Boots! <gasps> she knows this monkey? Of course she knows this monkey. Experience nature. Let's go. Connect with family. I love you guys. And find your own adventure in a forest or park near you. Let's do this. <gasps> Come on, Boots. Uh -oh. Wow. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. We meet online, and I tell you, I'm falling in love. I have to see you in person, but I need a loan for the ticket. I really think you're the one. And I really think you're desperate. Sure enough, you send cash and never see me again. Too smart to fall for this? Last year alone, 12 million Americans lost money this way. Can you believe it? You shouldn't. I made that up, too. Might not be as smart as you thought you were. Second half underway. The kickoff fielded. Moving up the field. Brought down. At about the 30. Cal Lutheran up 13 to 2 here with 14.55 left to go in the third quarter. Christopher Livingston here bringing you com tonight's commentary. As the Cal Lutheran offense takes the field. They were without Caesar De Leon earlier as you look at the stats. 268 total yards for Cal Luther until Laverne's 136 yards. Penalties. It's been one side as far as Cal Lutheran. Seven penalties for 30 yards and one ejection. First and 10, ball on the 28 yard line. Caesar De Leon back on the field. Takes the snap. The handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson cuts. Back up field and brought down past the 30 yard line to about the 32 yard line. You see the crowd up and. It's a short gain of four. It'll be second and six, ball on the 32 yard line. Eric Wilson. 14.23 left to go in the third quarter. Cal Lutheran, two receivers to the right, one to the left. The handoff, the fake handoff. De Leon escapes pressure and brought down. And a sack. Isaac Sanchez with the tackle. No gain on the play. So some relief there for Cal Luther, and it could have been a lot worse. It'll be third down for the Kingsmen. In the opening drive of the second half. Two receivers left, two to the right. De Leon with the snap. Throws it up the middle of the field. Caught 
by Cameron Jones. Jones breaks a tackle at the 45, cuts back inside, brought down at the 40. Cameron Jones on the reception. Tackle made by Robert Bagley. Look, De Leon finding the open man. And Cameron Jones using that speed and elusiveness to dodge players. First and 10, ball on the 39 yard line. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. The screen pass to Thomas. Thomas past the 30, runs out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. Cal Lutheran making quick work, moving the field, moving the ball downfield. The screen pass has worked out well for Cal Lutheran, as you see. Thomas is just so difficult to bring down. First and 10, ball on the 26 yard line for the Kingsmen. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. DeLeon making adjustments at the line. Gets a snap, the handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson bounces off to the outside and brought down just short of the 20 yard line. It'll be about a gain of five on the play. It'll be second and four with the ball on the 20 yard line. Now 12 minutes left to go in the third quarter. The score currently 13 to two. Leopards getting their only two points off of a blocked extra point returned by Raymond Morones. As Cameron Jones wrapped up and brought down. Looked like Connor Johnson on the tackle. Connor Johnson. Cal Lutheran getting their two touchdowns off of runs. One by Hector Gonzalez, the backup quarterback. Another one off of Hoosman. Heck, by Reed Hoosman, the fullback. Third 11 minutes left to go in the third quarter. Third and eight, ball on the 24 yard line. One receiver left, three to the right. De Leon throws it towards the end zone. Incomplete, led his receiver too much. Great defensive stop by the Laverne defense. And it'll be fourth and eight. And Antezana gets ready for a, a looks like a 41 yard field goal. There's a snap, the kick. Misses it to the left. Antezana had the distance, he just whiffed it to the left. And it will be Laverne's ball. Score still 13 to two with 10.40 left to go in the third quarter. Now, who does Coach Creek use at quarterback? Sam Taylor has thrown three interceptions thus far. And it looks like he's gonna bring out a different quarterback. The handoff to Martavius Holiday. Holiday cuts to the right, pushing out of bounds. Mentioning the changing quarterback, it is Chris Venegas in at quarterback now. The freshman getting the call now. He's had a few, few plays so far this season. Venegas 
We'll hand it off to Martavius Holiday, wrapped up immediately and brought down for a short gain. Venegas, so far this season, has played in four games, but he's only thrown the ball a handful of times. He's one for four for 12 yards and an interception. Coach Creek deciding to switch quarterbacks after Sam Taylor threw three interceptions in the first half. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Venegas faking the handoff. He's going to run up the middle. Breaking past midfield for a big first down for the freshman quarterback. You see he fakes the handoff, decides to keep it, moves upfield. Breaking a tackle, spinning out before getting hit. Line up first and 10, two receivers to the left, two to the right. Amir Bishop in motion. The handoff to Martavius Holiday. Holiday breaks free. The f and he looks like he may, no, pushed out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds by Zion Brown. Able to keep up with Martavius Holiday, but Holiday almost took it to the house. Quick cut to the outside. And Holiday so quick. But Zion Brown able to maintain speed with him, stride for stride, and pushing him out of bounds. First and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. This is the deepest Laverne has been in Cal Lutheran territory all game. Can they capitalize? Venegas, the handoff to Holiday. Holiday breaks outside, brought down. Tackle made by Kayshawn Charles. Suspect Laverne to try and focus a little bit more on the running attack in this game as that's something that they have utilized to beat Cal Lutheran last year. Venegas with the snap, runs to the right, hit hard and brought down. Contact made. By Sh Shaihi Baker. The run by Venegas stops short. Bring up fourth down now. And here comes the field goal unit for Laverne. Venegas could not get past the goal line. So it looks like they won't go for it. I mean, they won't kick the field goal. They bring everyone at the line. The pitch to Martavius Holiday, and Holiday stopped. Laverne has ran that package multiple times throughout the game, and they usually had some success, but on the last couple times they've ran from that package, Cal Lutheran has stopped them. And on that play, on a fourth down, Coach Creek gambled. You see Sam Taylor hand off to Holiday and immediately wrapped up. Ethan Pooley with the tackle. Ethan Pooley leads Skyak with 11 tackles per game, showing why he's such a defensive powerhouse. So now Cal Lutheran, first and 10 on the five. The handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson cuts to the outside. A short gain. Score still 13 to two with the Kingsmen in the lead. 6.40 left to go in the third quarter. The 
First and 10, the ball on the 15-yard line after that run. Fakes the pass, the handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson breaks a tackle, cuts back inside. Before being wrapped up and brought down, play blown dead. The handoff to Jackson. Jackson so quick, so hard to bring down. Jackson already 13 carries for 82 yards on the evening. Second and two, ball on the 23-yard line. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. De Leon with the handoff again. And a short carry, but it might be enough for the first down, depending on where the officials spot it. And it looks like they got the first down. The chains are moving. Reed Hoosman, who scored the first touchdown for Cal Lutheran, was able to plow through and get the two yards necessary for the first down. The handoff again to Hoosman. Hoosman a short carry. I'll bring up second down. It'll be second and long. Second and about eight with 4.27 left to go in the third quarter. De Leon with the snap. Decides to tuck it in and run. Wrapped up and brought down by the Laverne defense. Doesn't look like he got the first down on that play. De Leon ran it quite a few times in this game. Carried it for about four yards on six attempts. It'll be third and eight. Big play here for the Laverne defense. Can they stop the Kingsmen? They line up, two receivers to the right, one to the left. There's the snap. De Leon throws it up the middle, caught. It'll be a first down. James Holland with the catch. And the Kingsmen keep their drive alive and keep the chains moving. First and 10 for nine, 40. Laverne un or unable to stop the Kingsmen again. It'll be first and 10, ball in the 40. Two receivers to the left. as Morris Jackson runs to the right and brought down short of the 45-yard line. Morris Jackson. Gain of four on the play. A gain of four, it'll be second and six, ball on the 44-yard line. Leon looks to his left, throws it high, intended for Thomas. Thomas tried to one-hand it on the sideline. Couldn't bring it in. Coverage by Torrey Hilbert. That's intended for Juan Thomas. It'll be third and six with 204 left in the third quarter. Third and six. 
a unique scenario for both these teams as both teams have a female on their active rosters. Cal Lutheran has Morgan Salzwittle, the junior kicker. And Laverne has Mika Makikau, a freshman kicker. Oh, perhaps we'll see. Hopefully we could see one or both of them on the field at some point tonight. It's a flag on the play. Looks like a delay of game on Cal Lutheran, so that bringing the Kingsman delay back. It'll be third and long now. What do the Kingsmen do here? So third and 11, ball on the 39 yard line. Two receivers left, two to the right. De Leon with the snap, throws it, dropped, incomplete. Intended for his receiver, Marcellus Lewis. Lewis unable to hold on to it as he went to the ground and dropped the ball. De Leon had plenty of time, had his man open, just kind of miss, kind of missed his target as Lewis couldn't haul it in. And Antizana will get ready to punt it as Jacob Bariga waits at the 15. Punt is high and Bariga will catch it about the 18. Dodges a tackle. Cuts back to the left and brought down at about the 30. Jacob. And we'll see how Laverne responds. They were able to march downfield on the previous drive, but could not find the end zone as they were stopped on a fourth down play. Venegas, Venegas rolls to his right, gets past the 40, gets the first down, and runs out of bounds at about the 45 yard line. First and 10 for Laverne. The handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez wrapped up immediately and brought down. We got a Kingsman on the ground. Looks that looks like that was number 99, Thomas Bambrick. He looked like he was at the bottom of all that action. But he's able to run to the side on his own power. Second and nine, ball in the 46. Three receivers left, one to the right. Venegas throws it across the field to Jordan Moore. And Moore brought down. Complete. For the first down, perhaps the official spot is short. It'll be third and two. Venegas able to come out and add a little bit of spark to this offense with 20 seconds left. Will the Leopards run another play? Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Venegas with the snap. The handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez runs to the right, gets the first down and more. Gets to the 30, out of bounds at about the 30. Big run for the senior running back. Yeah, 
run by Gonzalez, and Gonzalez just a great job running, using that power of his to keep his feet moving. But that was the last play of the third quarter, and at the end of the third quarter, the score remains Cal Lutheran 13, Laverne 2. You're watching Skyac Football on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. Star of the fourth quarter here at Ortmeyer Stadium. Cal Lutheran up 13 to two over the Leopards. Laverne is driving the ball on the 30 yard line. Little Van Halen playing to pump up the crowd, pump up the players, and here we go. The fourth quarter begins. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Venegas decides to hold on to it, gets past the 30, he gets hit, drops the ball, and is picked up by Cal Lutheran. Picked up by Zion Brown. Venegas just couldn't hang on to it. He's stripped out of his arms. So it'll be first and 10 for Cal Lutheran. Another costly turnover for the Leopards. That is the third turnover for Laverne in this game. The fourth turnover, excuse me. De Leon with the handoff. Now he pitches it to Cameron Jones. Jones cuts to the outside, gets the first down before being thrown out of bounds. A quick reverse, and Cameron Jones able to use that speed of his to get the first down and more. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, one running back. The handoff to Jackson, to Morris Jackson. Jackson cuts up field, past midfield, and brought down. Morris Jackson has been a factor all game for Cal Lutheran. He's so quick, he's able to just cut up field, dodging defenders. It'll be second and two with the ball on the 47-yard line with 13.55 left to go in the game. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. The handoff to Reed Hoosman. Hoosman hit immediately and brought down at about the line of scrimmage. Little to no gain on that play. On that previous carry, Morris Jackson broke 100 yards. He now has 102 on the ground. Cal Lutheran with 380 total yards of offense. Third and two. De Leon hands it off to Hoosman, and Hoosman hit hard at the line. And it looks like he didn't get the first down. It'll be a fourth down coming up for the Kingsmen. Kuzman runs and just so ran into a brick wall, player injury. led by Connor Johnson. 
but we have a leopard on the ground. That is Cameron Mooneyhan. And that would be another costly injur injury for this Leopards defense if he cannot return. Mooneyhan has six total tackles on the game. Looks like it may have happened off of that collision. But he looks like he's all right. He's up on it on his feet and he's jogging to the sidelines. So good to see him. Good to see he's all right. Third and it'll be fourth and short. Can the Leopards defense stop him? Well, they bring out the punting unit. Bariga muffed it, but it went out of bounds. And Leopards will take over. With 12.31 left to go in the game. Two possession game, but very reachable for this Leopards team. First and 10, ball on the 18 yard line for the Leopards. Chris Venegas still in at quarterback. Venegas throws it to his right to Martavius Holiday. Holiday wrapped up a medium and brought down for a short game. Time continues to tick. 12.05 left to go in the game. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Venegas under pressure, rolls to his left. Tries to escape it, loses it again. Picked up by Cal Lutheran. Another mistake by the Laverne offense. The fifth turnover by the Leopards. Venegas held on to it a little too long. He couldn't decide if he was going to run with it or not. By the time he figured it out, Cal Lutheran had stripped the ball out of his hands. Laverne that was able to turn over the ball five times last week against Occidental has turned it over five times tonight on their own. Three interceptions thrown by Sam Taylor and two fumbles given up by Chris Venegas. Cal Luther now with the ball. The handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson runs through and brought down. Now Cal Lutheran has had multiple opportunities deep in Laverne territory, but they've only been able to come up with two touchdowns to show for it. Cameron Mooneyhan making the tackle. Glad to see him back in action. Eleven twenty left to go in the game. Second and six. Ball on the seven yard line. High snap. And DeLeon wrapped up and brought down for the sack. High snap and before he could figure out what was going on, surrounded by two green jerseys. Be third and long for the Kingsmen. De Leon throws it into the end zone. And it wasn't in the end zone, it was short. Oh, 
Another short run, stopped. It was a fourth and one. You see the mishandled drop snap. Nothing going on that play. It'll be second and one. 9.45 left to go in the game. Daly on the handoff to Morris Jackson, and Jackson able to walk into the end zone for the touchdown. And perhaps the dagger. The La Laverne defense has, has been able to hold them all game. And finally, Morris Jackson able to find the end zone. A huge hole. He's able to waltz into the end zone on the left side. And Antezana gets ready for the extra point. Snap, the kick. It's good, but there's a flag on the play. Number 78, offense. Five yard penalty, replay the try. So offsides on Cal Lutheran. it will bring them back further to attempt the extra point again. Antezana has already, he's missed a field goal, and he had one blocked and returned, leading to the only ports, points on the night for the Leopards. There's a snap, the kick, and it's good. With 9.27 left to go in the game, Cal Lutheran running away with it, 20 to two. Over the Leopards. You're watching Skyac Football on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television. Laverne has had multiple chances to try and score. Next week, the Leos will close the season down by hosting Chapman. But turnovers has been the story. As mentioned last week, they were able, the defense was able to turn over the ball five times. 16. But tonight, Laverne has turned over the ball five times themselves, leading to this 20 to two scoop. Martavius Holiday and Chris Venega and Nick Kimball waiting deep. This is on how to kick off. Fair catch and knee in the end zone. And the Leopards will take over at the 25 yard line. Mentioned the Leopards have been able to move the ball downfield. Their turnovers have ended their drives multiple times. See what happens. Sam Taylor in at quarterback again. Oh, it's Matthew Albright in at quarterback now. So the third quarterback on the knee. Albright throws it into the dirt, rolling to his right. Quarterback position has not been Dirty all season long, and tonight it's First been off. roughing the passer. Number 92, defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Or roughing the passer. 
Penalty called on Shaihe Baker. So it moves the ball up for the Leopards. It'll be first and 10. With the ball at about the 40. 9.13 left to go in the game. Albright takes a snap, throws it to his right. Caught. Breaking a tackle, moving upfield is Gonzalez. Gonzalez almost, almost got away with it, almost broke away. But Zion Brown, who has been the hero for Cal Lutheran on some deep plays. You see the juke, nice break by James Gonzalez. But unable to find the end zone. Eight forty left to go in the game. Albright decides to run up the middle. Gets past the 30, the 25, the 20. Trips up the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Laverne. What a run by Matthew Albright. He could not be denied. Staying on his feet. The entire time stumbled, almost tripped over himself. And finally, the offense shows some life. But is it too late? Albright looked like he was going to throw it aside, tuck it in. And he's a tall quarterback. He is hard to bring down. Missed tackle there, tripped up, almost tripped over himself again. But he would not stop till he got to the end zone. And it looks like Coach Creek is calling for a two-point conversion. Line up, Albright looks to his right, throws it, caught, incomplete. Pass is incomplete, 8.27 left. It looked like a catch from my vantage point, but apparently James Gonzalez could not hang on. It is a 12 point game. If Laverne wants to try and catch up, they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to create some very short possessions for the Kingsmen. The 8.27 left to go in this game. I've seen crazier things happen. We'll see what happens here. Arturo Herrera Caballero lines up for the kick. Boots it high. Caught at the 10, the 15, the 20. Breaking outside, pushed out of bounds. Big run by J.D. Lang. So 8.20 left to go in this game. Cal Lutheran up 20 to eight over the Leopards. Cal Lutheran was able to finally find the end zone this half after driving downfield. De Leon and company line up. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, two running backs. The snap, the handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson dropped. We're about a gain of one. See the handoff to Jackson. Jackson cut to his left but tripped up immediately as Torrey Hilbert was able to make the stop. 7.55 left to go in the game. Second and 10. They line up two receivers to the right, 
One to the left, two running backs once again. De Leon in the shotgun. The snap, the handoff to Jackson, wrapped up immediately and brought down. Tackle made by Kerry Sanders. This is just a defensive, these are just the defensive stops Laverne needs, but they need, but time is also their biggest enemy. Tries to cut, great tackle. Dangerously close to a horse collar tackle for Kerry Sanders, but a stop nonetheless. Seven oh five left to go in the game. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. One running back. Cameron Jones in motion to the slot. The snap, throws it up the middle. Caught and hit is Jawan Thomas. Jawan Thomas hauling in his seventh grab of the night. He has, he has over 100 yards on the game. See, he's just an easy target. But the Leopards are able to hold him to a three and out. With 6.20 left, and here comes Antezana to kick it, to punt it to Bariga. Leopards have a big opportunity here to bring this score, this game within one score. Jacob Bariga waits for the punt. He's going to call the fair catch just short of the 30 yard line with 5.58 left to go in this game. The Pat Band trying to motivate the entire crowd and hopefully motivate the team to try and pull off him what may seem like a miracle. Albright still in at quarterback, motions. Gonzalez throws it, cut! The 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown Laverne! Jared Beeman. What a catch and grab. What, what a blown coverage by the Kingsmen. And we have ourselves a game. Albright, patient, throwing it. Beeman, able to make the grab and using that speed, out racing everyone. Zion Brown could not stop him there that time. Diego Garcia. Diego Garcia will line up for the extra point. And he kicks it right down the middle. Kick is up and good. 548 left in the ball game. Score now. Now with 20. So now with 548 left to go in the game. The Kingsmen up 20 to 15 on the Leopards, but the Leopards have momentum and they are rolling. Can they get another big defensive stop? This is a team that although they're down, often they're never out and they always battle back. And first place Chapman, all the games. The Leopards have yet to win back-to-back -back games this season. Try to add another, vic another victory to what has been a decent season for them. Their best season since winning the Skyac Conference back in 2015. The kick high, caught at the 20, tripped up at about the 24 yard line is J.D. Lang. Five forty-one left to go in this game. About ten minutes ago, this game seemed all but done. Big plays on both sides of the ball for the Leopards have allowed them to come back within striking distance. 
but can they do it? Buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be an interesting ride. First and 10. The snap, the handoff to Jack Morris Jackson. Jackson cuts to his left, breaks free at the 40. Pushed out of bounds. But that stops the clock. 5.34 left to go in the game. And a fresh set of downs for the Kingsmen. First down. Kingsmen Hand off to Jackson. Jackson breaks free to the left. Just using that speed of his to try and break free, but he could not escape everyone. He was pushed out of bounds. First and 10 ball in the 40. De Leon with the handoff to Morris Jackson again. Jackson tripped up for a short gain. Got past the 40, brought down at about the 41. Michael Bloomfield. Mikey Bloomfield on the tackle. Time continues to tick. 4.43 left to go in the game. The Kingsmen look like they're going to take their time with each snap from this point to try and kill as much time on the clock to prevent the Leopards from getting on the field. Second and eight. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. The snap, De Leon looks downfield, holds it in, throws it, caught, and brought down. James Holland. James Holland on the grab. And that looks like a first down. Making the tackle. With every first down that the Kingsmen make, the chances of victory for the Leopards grow bleaker. It'll be first and 10 with ball on the 49 yard line for the Kingsmen. Ball on the Laverne 49. First and 10, Galoo. 3.50 left to go in the game. Dalian with the snap, the handoff to Morris Jackson. Jackson runs to his left. Brought down at about the 45 yard line. Torrey Hilbert on the tackle. Three twenty-five left to go in the game. Time continues to tick. Three ten now on the clock. Well, that Cal Luther lines up three receivers to the right. Four seconds on the play clock. Daly on the handoff, wrapped up immediately and brought down. Big stop by the Leopards defense, and a timeout called. Kerry Sanders. Kerry Sanders making a huge stop. Two fifty left to go in this game. Timeout, Laverne. Their first charge timeout of the half. Laverne will take their first Clock charge operator. timeout. We reset the game clock. Two fifty-three, two five three. It'll be two fifty-three left to go on the game clock. World famous, Laverne band, cheer squad. Let's See, go. just the Leopards' defensive line, led by Kerry Sanders, just broke through. Able to wrap up top Morris Jackson and bring him down. Three, two fifty-three left to go in this game. This Laverne defense has made some great stops all night, but can they get the one that counts? Here and now, third and eleven. Here we go. The crowd pumping up, getting loud. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. De Leon with the snap, throws it. Caught by Thomas immediately and brought down. But did he get the first down? That's the big question. The Vern takes another timeout, it looks like. 
De Leon immediately throws it to his favorite target. Unfortunately, that replay didn't really show the catch. The pep band getting it going. Fourth down. And it looks like the Kingsmen will punt it. So the Leopards getting that victory. But can they get the one that counts? Can they score on this next drive? Jacob Riga waiting deep in his own territory. Antizana takes the snap, low snap, almost blocked. He whiffs that punt high and short, and it bounces in favor of the Leopards. The pressure that Antizana faced on that play. Almost blocked. So a bad punt has been in favor of the Leopards, who now with 2.38 left on the clock, have the opportunity to win the game. It would, be, it would be an incredible comeback for this team if they can pull it off. They have had some magical moments on this field this season, including an overtime victory against the reigning Skyac champions, Claremont Mudscripts, earlier this season. Albright with the snap. Rolls to his right. Throws it into the ground. He was out of the tackle box. It won't be an intentional grounding. He also had a receiver in the area. It'll be second down. We have barely seen the Laverne offense on the field this quarter, but they have struck every time they've gotten the ball. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Albright, the handoff to Gonzalez. Gonzalez brought down for a short gain. The time is still ticking. 2.20 left to go. Connor McDermott with the tackle. Two oh eight left to go. Third and nine. Big play here for the Leopards offense. Can they convert? They are four for 11 on third down. The play clock now at eight seconds. A minute 45 now left in the game. They are taking way too long. Albright takes a snap, throws it high to the right. Trying to return back to the ball. Incomplete intended for Jared Beeman. Ball was short, Beeman tried to make his way back to it. Could not, the ball hit the deck. It'll be fourth down now. Fourth and nine, a minute, 20, a minute 37 left to go in the game. Just short, Beeman had a chance to get make the grab, just couldn't. Man in motion to the outside. Albright rolls to his right, throws it, caught. Gets the first down, breaking a tackle, pushed out of bounds. Nate Sagastumi. When you need him, he is there. Sagastumi and Albright have had some magical moments this season. Albright, low snap, rolls to his right. He, he could have ran for the first down, but he's decided to throw it to Sagastumi. And Sagastumi, using that speed and quickness of his, able to gain more yards. Ball now at the 48-yard line, first and 10. A minute 29. Albright throws it to the sideline, incomplete. Intended for James Gonzalez. A minute 24 left to go in the game. It'll be second and 10. Five point game. Kingsman up 20 to 15. 
entering the first, entering the fourth quarter. The score was 20 to two. Albright sends Gonzalez in motion. Under pressure, rolls to his right, throws it to the sideline, caught again, and rolling out of bounds is Nate Sagastumi again. A minute 18. Albright, every time he rolls to that side, he has plenty of time. And Sagastumi so quick, able to elude his defender and make the grab. And great job rolling out of bounds to stop the clock. Laverne has only one timeout left. Two receivers to the left. Low snap again, Albright throws it away. The low snap potentially no jeopardized the play. Number 81, who was eligible, was in the area of the pass. Second down. Spencer Poole was in the vicinity of the throw. So it will not be intentional grounding on Albright. One thirteen left to go in the game. Two receivers left, two to the right. The snap by Albright. Albright throws it up the middle of the field, caught by Spencer Poole, who's able to run out of bounds and get another first down. That's complete, Spencer Poole. First down. Spencer Poole able to find the opening in the middle of the field in between the zone coverage. And you it just direct, just darted straight for the sideline. First and 10, ball on the 27 yard line now. Albright takes a snap, rolls to his right. Throws it high towards the end zone. Out of reach. Intended Ooh. for Spencer Poole. They were trying to end it then and there. 58 seconds left on the game clock. Second and 10. Leopards trying to find their fifth victory of the season. Cal Lutheran trying to get their first win over Laverne in several years. Gonzalez is in motion. Albright. Throws it to the sideline, caught, and pushed out of bounds. He finds Jordan Moore. 49 seconds left. Time continues to tick. Laverne needs to hurry up and get this play off. 42 seconds. Albright looked directly to the sideline, pointed at Jordan Moore on where to go, and the Leopards will take a timeout, their final timeout, with 34 seconds left to go. Timeout, Laverne. Their third and final charge timeout of the half. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to 37 seconds. Three, the officials seven, tell the seven. timekeeper to reset the game clock to 37 seconds. A big third and one play coming up. The Leopards have done a phenomenal job finding open receivers near the sidelines and then able to run out of bounds to stop the clock. This Cal Lutheran defense has been strong throughout the game with five turnovers. They have not been able to hold the Leopards at bay in the fourth quarter. Leopards now with 447 total yards, 257 on the ground and 190 in the air. They have been able to find a lot of balance in their offense the last two weeks. Here we go, third and one. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Albright takes a snap, rolls to his right. Points, throws it into the ground, incomplete. It'll be 31 seconds left to go on a crucial fourth and one play. It'll be fourth and one with the ball in the 18 yard line. Right now it'd be smart for the Leopards just to get the first down. The clock will stop 
allowing them to set up for the next play. Getting this first down is crucial. Fourth and one, ball in the 18. Albright with the snap. Throws it up towards the end zone. It, incomplete. And Cal Lutheran's gonna win this game. Albright. Albright threw it. He had Jordan Moore open, but a great job by John Moore to strip the ball. It was a risky play. You see Jordan Moore had it, did not have possession. And John Moore was able to put a hand on the ball and knock it out. And Cal Lutheran lines up in victory formation to take a knee. As time ticks. And the Kingsmen will win this game. Such a dramatic finish. It came down to one play and a number of questionable decisions. Could the Leopards have gone for the first down? Was it the right thing to aim for the end zone? Either way, it's been an exciting match with the Leopards battling hard throughout this game, but unfortunately unable to win the game. And the Kingsmen will take this one 20 to 15. Some game totals, some stats here. Leopards finishing with 447 total yards, 257 yards on the ground, 190 in the air. Matt Albright coming in here in the fourth quarter following Sam Taylor and Chris Venegas. Albright had himself a decent start, 6 of 13 for 150 yards and one touchdown. And also with a 42-yard run for a touchdown. Martavius Holiday leading all, carry, all rushers for Laverne with 68 yards. James Gonzalez right behind him with 56 yards on the ground. Sam Taylor with 47. Chris Venegas with 44. For receiving, Jared Beeman with a long 71-yard touchdown catch. Nate Zagastumi had four grabs for 58. On the other side of things, Cal Lutheran with 425 total yards, 194 on the ground and 231 in the air. But it was, the, it was the five turnovers that the defense was able to get that ultimately contributed to this victory. Cesar De Leon came into this game, started out, left for a while, then came back in the second half. He went 13 of 19 for 219 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Hector Gonzalez took over for a bit for De Leon. He went one of four for 12 yards and one interception. Morris Jackson on the ground, 25 carries for 117 yards and one touchdown. Reed Hoosman, 8 for 44 and one touchdown. Receiving Jawan Thomas, 8 receptions for 126 yards, no touchdowns. It, is, it was a tough battle, hard-fought battle. It started off Cal Lutheran up 13-0 before Laverne was able to strike with a blocked field goal, blocked extra point returned by Raymond Morones to the house for a score. Then in the fourth quarter, Laverne finally lit up on offense. Two big touchdowns to try and bring it within five. But unfortunately, they could not get it done. Next week, they end their season against Chapman University here at home. But at the end of the game, Cal Lutheran runs away with it 20 to 15 over the Leopards. On behalf of everyone on LVTV3, I'm Christopher Livingston. I want to thank you for listening, for watching this Skyac football presentation. At the end of the game, once again, the score is Cal Lutheran 20, Laverne 15. You're watching Skyac football on LVTV3, Laverne Community Television.